Okay, so I just thought I would do a video of my Christmas decor. And this is my Christmas tree. It is a white um, snowy tree where it's some of the most of the green shows, but a lot of snow on the tips of the branches. I used a mesh type of ribbon along with a burlap and I topped it with a snowflake, a large snowflake with the white glittery ribbon along with the burlap to tie it in with the rest of the tree. thought it came out really pretty. A lot of handmade um, ornaments that have been in my family for a long, long time. I also put this white rose and white poinsettia garland through the tree, which I thought came out very pretty. We have some Westies for our dogs. I have a snowman in which my mother-in-law bought us our very first Christmas. Um, Jonathan bought me that at a school sale for Christmas. As you can see, I tied the burlap in the tree on the ends of this mesh uh, ribbon, which I like because it has a glitter effect to it and it makes for a very pretty um, tree. I have these types of ornaments in my tree. It's all of the nativity and they were hand painted by my grandma and they are ceramic. They've been in the Christmas tree for a long, long time. My mother hung them in our tree when I was little and she gave them to me when we got married. And then I just had some sconces which I did just a plain cream colored um, candle which I was considering possibly getting some type of flowers to put around there which I haven't found anything as of yet but if I don't find anything I'm just going to keep those plain and then I put the packages up underneath the Christmas tree I'll give you a different angle We have a cozy chair and lamp. And then over here on my son's piano, we have my Christmas village. Which I've had for, oh my goodness, probably 17 years. And there's ice skating rink right here. And it does work, I just don't keep it on all the time. Then we have our stockings, and that is a stocking for my dad, my three kids, and my mother. And I just took greenery and um, lights, as well as the mesh ribbon and the burlap, tied it through, kept it very simple. This is where I put my snowmen that I made. And the fireplace is, it is like 28 degrees here tonight, so heat coming from that, it's electric. And that teddy bear is the very first um,
Christmas decoration that my husband and I ever bought and it came from a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents for it. So it has been with us for 19 years. So um, that is pretty much it for the living room. And I will show you the rest. Okay, so I noticed that um, you, the video that um, I shot um, at night when the tree was all lit up because we have all of our every single bit of Christmas lights, Christmas village, everything on a timer. It comes on about 6.30 and I just wanted to kind of give you a day shot so because some of the video was dark. So you can see my presence and, and if you see anything in disarray, um, my parents are actually going to be here tomorrow so I'm like scrambling around trying to you know get everything all situated and um, I spent the entire day yesterday in the kitchen baking all kinds of goodies so I can enjoy my time with them and have a good time so um, just a quick overview of my tree again um, whenever it's daytime and that way you can kind of get a little bit more of a feel um, you know how the ribbon flows uh, through the tree you can see my garland um, really well. I love this, um, my tree being decorated this way um, for a couple different reasons. Number one is when the lights are on, um, you know, at night, this here sparkly, and I'm not sure if the camera is actually picking up the sparkles in this ribbon, but it just, my grandmother was like, oh, your tree is covered in gold. It's not covered in gold, but it kind of gives that feel that it has this, this shimmeriness, if that's a word, um, to it, you know, whenever it is all lit up. But that's kind of an overview of my, my tree and then my packages underneath. Um, and then if you come over here, you can see my... Uh, Christmas Village, what it looks like during the day. And my sconces are sitting here because my husband did some work on the door and I was afraid he was going to knock them off the wall and I just didn't want <laughs> that to happen. So that is the reason. So now you can get a little bit better of a look of the stockings and everything. And I know when I went to show down here, y'all could not see in the video whatsoever. So I'm going to, when I put this all together, I'm going to try to edit that out. I don't know how much time I'm going to have with company, but I did want to make sure that you saw, um, you know, all my, de my decorations, I guess. Um, so these are the stockings. And my mom's is here, and my dad's is here, and they have no idea that they even have a stocking. This is actually the first year that I put together a stocking for them, because this year I just bought them one big gift, and then the kids and I kind of randomly just started buying several months ago just little things and uh, putting in the stockings for them, so um, to get ready for them to come. Um, and then this is what this looks like during the day. I have to tell you, I really like a fireplace that's kind of um, just a little bit plain, but in my terms of my taste, I really wanted to add more to this, but um, budget-wise and time-wise just couldn't, so it's going to be pretty, um, pretty plain this year. So... All right, so that's an overview of all the decorations in here. Oh, and that is the teddy bear that you couldn't see. Um, my husband and I purchased that our very first Christmas together, and it's from a garage sale. Um, I think I paid 50 cents for it. So by our little tiny apartment that we used to live in when we had nothing, that was the very first thing that I bought and he has held up very well and that is our my snowman that I made in my um, Christmas um, Monday craft miss Monday craft miss Merry craft miss Monday see how hard that is I gotta quit making these up anyways my fire is going there and it's very chilly here today so that is it for the living room 
Okay, so I'm here in the hall, and this is a hutch that is in my hallway. And I just thought I would quickly show that I just did a snowman. Um, I got this at Michael's. I think I paid like uh, $4 for it, and it had like little greenery in there. It was really, really cute. And then I put it with this here. Um, we did a uh, secret sister thing at my church. And the lady that was my secret sister that remembered me over the years and left me anonymous cards and gifts, um, we had a big Christmas party to reveal our secret sister, and she got me this here frame. And I think it was Rebecca Young, if I'm not mistaken. But um, <clears throat> absolutely love this here uh, frame. It's got a little snowman on it. And, you know, it sticks out. It's very pretty. And this is my kids when they were little. I don't know if you can even see that. I think you can. And that picture actually happened on accident. We just happened to be driving through our old neighborhood, showing the kids where we used to live. And there's this man that's um, in the neighborhood there. And every year he dresses up like Santa Claus. <clears throat> and his wife dresses up like Mrs. Claus. Excuse me. And they... Um, they put out a big spread. It's, you know, it's for all for the kids and the families that are interested. And they, um, you know, I happen to have my camera and I got the perfect picture. And this was the picture that I actually put in our Christmas card that year. It was perfect. And, um, you know, sometimes the best Christmas memories happen just merely on accident and completely unplanned. So... It's a good okay, time. So, um, several people have actu actually asked me how I decorated this section this year. I kept it pretty plain, except for my little deer. And I'm actually probably going to get like a poinsettia to put down here um, at his feet. And I think that would look really pretty. My mom and dad actually made these deer. And at one point in time, I've had him for a really long time. At one point in time, he had like a Christmas tree that lit up at his feet, like he was standing next to it. But over time, the Christmas tree got to be history, and all I have left is the deer. But he is as cute as can be, and he fits perfect in this little um, area that I have. And this is where uh, bills go or things, you know, from the mail. I have like this... We had this issue that every time the mail came, my kids would run out, and then the mail would come up missing, and now I tell them, this is where the mail goes. If it's not for you, if it's not an ad you want to look at, because I don't care about that kind of thing necessarily. If it gets lost, you know, it's an accident, but um, any daddy, mommy mail goes here, so we make sure that we keep up with our bills and stuff, and of course, we have the house phone. I've got some hand sanitizers, and I also wanted to add that um, I bought this at Michael's. It's originally $9.99, and um, let's see, I had a 40% off coupon, so I got it for a little bit more than $5. It sits right here at my front door, and I burn these here, and I got these on clearance last year for like, I think I paid like, 10 cents a package for them and as you can see I got several of them here and this isn't even all that I bought and I have my stuff in there um, simmering I guess you could say and it doesn't get too hot where you can't touch it see um, which I really really like so if somebody would like bump into this or knock it they're not going to get burned by it because it doesn't get that hot it just gets warm enough just to melt the little tablet things and my house right now um, smells so divine, so divine. But I just thought, you know, in decorating for Christmas, think about how your house smells because uh, first impression is everything. Not that I'm trying to impress anybody, but I love when I come into my house or if I just even go out to get the mail and I come back in and my house smells like Christmas, there's just something warm and inviting about that. So check that out. The other thing that I thought I would show you is... It's been a while since I did a, um, a vlog on this, but this is actually my list how I keep my house clean. So what I did was I just moved it over. I changed the border in here, and I, I just put this Christmas tinsel, and I left this side blank. 
because in here I have my push pins in my little stocking with my H on it for my name, Heidi. And I'm going to put all my Christmas cards as they come in here on this board. And I thought how cute that would be um, to have my Christmas cards here this year. Every year I'm trying to scramble to figure out where to put the Christmas cards, um, how to hang them up, and I decided that's what I'm going to do this year. I'm just going to simply hang them here on this board since half of it is available to me. And then I just pushed all of my, um, you know, my... Um, cleaning list and this is how I keep my house clean and then I have a dry erase thing and these are in plastic sleeves and then I just uh, pin them to the board and then as I accomplish them I just check mark them off which let me tell you is so so helpful I can't even put into words this is, has helped me so much in keeping up with my house and I have everything on here like um, every day, morning, afternoon, evening, um, weekly, because you know, some things you just do once a week, and then I have monthly, and that just totally keeps me organized, and I make sure that things are done and accomplished, so just a little tip in there, um, if you're looking for a way to keep your house organized and clean, um, try making a list and checking it twice, I feel like Santa today, so... I will show you some more okay, decorations. So this is my parent, well, will be my parents' bathroom. It's actually my kids' bathroom. Um, you know, when, when my parents come, they're going to be here either late tonight or uh, tomorrow afternoon, depending on how far they make it, because um, weather is kind of questionable. And we certainly don't want them traveling on um, icy roads. So I just got done cleaning this bathroom and got it all ready for them. And... Um, Got their stuff in the shower, clean towels, etc. But I just thought I would show you um, just what I have randomly in here for Christmas. Um, so I just have these glass votives and I put a little fake snow in the bottom, some ornaments from the Dollar Tree and a snowflake. And I then I put a silver poinsettia here in this corner. And then I have um, some shower gels and bath stuff that's Christmassy. If my mom wants to use it, it's there. Now my hand soap is not real Christmassy, but it is new and it's just peach scented. So I just kind of made sure that was in here. And then I put a deodorizer in here that is um, Christmas citrus, I think is what it was called. It smells pretty good. And it's from a Dollar Tree, so... Nothing lavish or expensive, but that is what I have in the back. Okay, so some more decorations that I have. Um, when you come into my front door right here, of course I have all my family photos here on this wall. And then down here I have a chest. And um, then over here I have, I'm trying to keep the shadow, it's, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Um, I have a picture of my kids from last year and I have little Christmas trees that I've had for a really long time that my kids painted together so there's one and two and then the third one over here um, that is um, you know where they each made um, mm -hmm with my mother. My mom and dad do woodcraft so they made those together and then I have a little uh, jar of mints here and then I have a picture of my kids there and then last year um, Target put this on sale and I got this for like three dollars. I've wanted one for a really long time and I always just thought this was just super super cute that you open the little doors and then until you get to Christmas Day and I've always wanted one and so I finally found one then I have a little oil um, burner right here that you just put a tea candle in and one of those I've just been putting those um, I don't even know what you call them but scented candle on the top and then this is the picture oops, um, from last year when my parents came down and I don't know if you, how well you can see that or not, but I look at that picture and I think to myself how far Dylan has really come in all of his um, treatments. 
it's unbelievable. Um, he looks really, really healthy and really good. He has good color. Um, now this is my front door here, and then when you come in my my house right here, <clears throat> you can turn, and here is my kitchen. And so all I have in here is um, my little lit up tree that I put together here, and I put my little candy canes on. And I don't know why, but my My little Mickey Mouse freezes every once in a while. I don't know why that is, but we got Mickey in here. And I think I showed that before in another uh, vlog. And then we just have the kitchen here. And I have it all cleaned up for company because they're showing up today. And then I have my little uh, magnets on the refrigerator. Um, which is a nativity scene. I came from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was just really, really cute. And I really liked it. And then, one thing I do is because um, the house is so small, and when we have a lot of people that's going to eat at the house, I just find it easier to keep um, all of this space, you know, all my counter space, excuse that can, but all this counter space cleaned off, and I just do, we just do like buffet style, and what I do is, is I, I bought this at Target, and I put, I have napkins, and I have paper plates, and we don't use paper plates for the actual um, eating, but we use the paper plates for the desserts. So I just have those in there so I know where they're at. And then I just do forks, spoons, knives, and then I just place this here at the end of my, um, my counter. I put the plates here, and then we just start with all the food all the way down. And then that way, um, you know, it just makes it so much easier. And it's not stressful, and everything goes with these. This is a can of peaches. My son had uh, peaches for breakfast this morning before he had to head out. Um, so, oh, and then I got this little owl. It came from Home Goods. He's actually brand new. I just got him probably a month ago, and I am just in love with owls, and I saw it one week and I went back a couple weeks later and I still had it and it was on sale so I went ahead and bought him I think he was like ten dollars but he was just so cute and he said he wanted to go home with me so I had to buy him and then I have my Christmas cup that I drink out of all you know all holidays and then the last thing that I have is my front door and I have I don't it's, it says happy holidays and then it has a snowman on the front cover of the door and it is very very cold out there today very very cold you can see the sun is just coming up over there and it's just getting bright outside and anyways we were supposed to get snow but we didn't get snow it's kind of sad and then this is my board that's here. And then you just walk on through the house. And this is my living room. So that is all for my Christmas decor. Um, however, um, depending on the weather, because we have had unbelievably wet and freezing ice cold weather, which is very unusual for us here where we live. And um, so it depends on that, whether or not we'll actually get any lights on the house. But if we do decorate outside, I will do a video on that and show you. And I hope you all have um, a good day, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.